موجودہ دور میں جیسے جیسے سائنس میں ترقی کے منازل ہم دیکھتے ہیں کہ طے ہوئے ہیں اسی طرح سے سبجیکٹس میں بھی بہت سی جدید جدید طریقے جو ہے وہ سامنے آئے ہیں جس کو ہم جدیدیت کہہ سکتے ہیں تو اسی ماڈرنائز ارا میں جغرافی کے جو ٹیکنیک کے ایریاز ہیں جس کو ہم ریسنٹ ٹیکنیک کہتے ہیں اس میں جی آئی ایس از ون آف دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ ٹیکنیک وچ کین یوز ان ڈفرنٹ ایریا سو ہیئر وی کین اپلائی دس ٹائپ آف ٹیکنیک اینڈ ناٹ اونلی ان دا نیچرل انوائرمنٹ بٹ ان ہیومن انوائرمنٹ ایز ویل سو دس از ون آف دا ٹیکنیک اور سسٹم ڈیزائن ٹو کیپچر اسٹور مینیپولیٹ اینالسز مینیج اینڈ پرزینٹ آل ٹائپ آف اسپیشل اینڈ جوگرافیکل ڈیٹا So GIS can enhance weather systems on surface maps as air masses, fronts and surface observation. Thus, the weather information could be provided to public. So this system is an organized collection of computer hardware, software, geographical data and efficiently capture, store, update or manipulate the all types or forms of geographical referenced information. GIS means computer systems and program that help or uh, to answer the questions about the world. GIS try to model things on the Earth's surface and use a process to build these models. So in weather forecasting, GIS is one of the most important component of the information flow. So this is the map of the South Asia, is a recent weather map of the South Asia. The most of the uh, clouds are coming toward the northern part of the Pakistan. Uh, so it gives us the picture of the future weather forecast. So we must uh, plan the area according to the weather condition. This is the map of the 27th of uh, uh, April uh, where the most of the rain is occur or with thunderstorm in the northern part of the Pakistan. With the help of the GIS technologies, we can make maps and charts like transportation maps, state atlas, aeronautical drafts or charts for displaying important information on maps. This information is about real world and is organized into layers. It can answer the questions like where is the closest school or market, where was the last earthquake and which are the risk zone or the earthquakes. So this map actually is the USA map shows the history of tornado, cyclone and their impact areas. So most of the, the high risk zones are to the center of the USA. Mein hain. So this place is actually under the high risk zones. The dark colors, the green dark colors shows the highest risk zone of the tornadoes. Uh, which is to the center or to the south eastern part or south central part of the USA. So actually this area is actually the meeting place of the cold and dry air mass which actually coming from the north western part of the USA and the second uh, air mass which is coming from the south eastern part of USA is the maritime tropical or maritime equatorial. So this is moist and warm. So these two air masses collides in this area. So this become a one of the very dangerous uh, zone or risk zone for the tornado, creation of the tornadoes. So this map is prepared by the GIS technique. So here we have the history, not only the history of the tornado, but It has the number of the tornadoes also. The most of the tornadoes are actually in the central part of the USA. This actually area is under the highest number of uh, tornado creations. Uh, but other states are less important. So the mapping actually is the most important uh, in data presentation. And one of the most important technique in digital mapping is GIS. So GIS is in real world can be applied as in energy forecasting, 
एग्रीकल्चर एफिशिएंसी, कार्बन मैनेजमेंट एविएशन सेफ्टी होमलैंड सिक्योरिटी कम्युनिटी ग्रोथ डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट पब्लिक हेल्थ कोस्टल मैनेजमेंट वाटर मैनेजमेंट एंड एयर क्वालिटी जी कैन बी हेल्पफुल इन सिटी एंड अर्बन प्लानिंग लैंड यूज सस्टेनेबिलिटी इंटीग्रेटेड लैंड मैनेजमेंट टैक्स मैपिंग property evaluation fire response crime analysis wildfire flood simulations manage electricity highways real time traffic and other important areas like uh, seismic hazards flood risk soil information monitor climate as tropical cyclone weather monitoring monitor energy and wind generation potential so gis can be helpful in evaluation or in the evaluation of the impact of global climate change as sea level rise modeling coastal zone mapping and vegetation trend so this map actually is the map of the lahore which gives us the picture of the highest contamination of the city so most of the extremely high risk zones are in the center of the city which actually is the the area under high population uh, zone so is the densely populated area of the lahore uh, which is to the eastern side of the river ravi and uh, the pollutants uh, belongs to nitrogen dioxide the sulfur dioxide the carbon dioxide carbon monoxide so these all air pollutants belongs to certain things which are related with the brick lanes the motor vehicles the industrial locations and this map gives us the picture of the uh, the area which is under the less risk zones these are the less risk zone areas which can be used for the future settlements but the areas which are under the extremely high risk zones must be monitored or managed by the authorities a geographical information system allow user to visualize manipulate layers of geographical data in order to reveal relationship patterns and trend so it can be utilized to map analyze and answer real world questions it stores information in multiple layers each layer pertaining to a certain type of data so student can use gis in real world too as find and collect information regarding the field so geography information system is an information management process for analyzing or organizing specially related data so that it can be analyzed and displayed the data are stored in different layers which can be overlaid to assess their interrelationship the terminology and application for gis have developed rapidly in recent years with the advent of the powerful and fast computers so in this slide we can show the picture of the different uh, thematic layers the real world belongs to a single layer but with the help of the certain technique especially the gis we can separate all these land uses into different layers like it may be the population of the area it can be the water feature or the lines of the drink drinkable water areas the boundaries of the different land uses the addresses of the parcels of the residential places the network of the transportation the area which is under lowland or under highlands or the satellite image of the the place so it means we can describes the real world into different thematic layers gis was also used to construct this computerized 3d model of the iron age in central jordan the model is actually a digital representation in this slide we can see the the depressions as well as the digital elevation model of the area where different contours are drawn to highlight the heights and depression of the place so in this way gis store geospatial data in digital form enhance the characteristic of earth surface 
facilitate the understanding of the landform structure and other geographical environment.